Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Bean, your 8th grade counselor at Serrano. Super excited to walk you through the next steps in becoming an 8th grader. Can you believe it? You're almost there. You will be walking through how to fill out your elective card in the next part of this video. Make sure that you fill out everything appropriately and that you are making good choices for yourself when choosing your electives. You want to think about goals that you have in mind for your future, talents and interests that you have that you want to further your ability in, and choose those classes according to those things. Not where your friend is going to be or what you think might be most popular for your schedule. Think about what's best for you and make those decisions for you. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you as 8th graders at Serrano. When you open your 8th grade elective request card, it should look like this. You will see a short description about year-long electives and trimester-long electives here. Remember that year-long electives is one elective that you will take over the course of the year, and trimester-long electives are three different electives that you will take throughout the three trimesters during the school year. Please make sure that you fill out your student email address, last name, first name, and your six-digit student ID number. If you would like to see a brief description about the electives, you can read through here or click here for a full description of the different electives offered for 8th graders. After reading the full descriptions, you will watch a short video about the electives. This is a segment where you will choose the electives that you desire for next year as an 8th grader. You will have four choices, indicating your top choice, number one, and your lowest choice, number four. You will have your trimester-long electives here if you would like to choose these, and the rest are year-long electives. Please notice that some of them have certain requirements, and the ones with asterisks next to the electives means that there is an application that is required in order to be considered for that class. To find the elective applications, you will come to this segment here. Please make sure that you fill out the different applications for the different electives and submit the forms if you would like to be considered for one of those classes. If you would like to have two year-long classes in your schedule as an 8th grader, you will need to take a zero-period class. Please remember that this class starts at 7.15 every day, and you will need to find your own ride to school. If you are chosen for the zero-period class, you are expected to stay in that zero-period class for the entire school year and keep that commitment. By typing your student name here and your parent name here, you and your parent or guardian are indicating that you understand everything that was completed on the form and you agree to everything completed on the form. Please also remember that this form is due by April 17th. And if you have any questions, you can contact Ms. Trahey in the guidance office at Serrano. We look forward to seeing you eighth graders next year and have a great time in choosing your courses for eight.